what's up youtube pj back with another video for you guys and as you can see in the background the genesis is not here anymore that's because i took it to steven's shop in order to get the alternator fixed and yeah i think i'm gonna go back over there even though i don't really know what i'm gonna do today most likely i'm gonna be doing something with the cobra today i don't know but oh yeah i meant to tell you guys i don't know if i've told you in a while but i am still on a 91 octane tune that's because my car i just got the afr gauge like not too many tune revisions ago my tuner actually just hit me back up for my third revision for this 91 octane tune again trying to get some fueling things down and oh wait hold up Alright, had to get the trash can from the road. But one thing I did remember, let me show y'all this right quick. I did remember, look what I got. Y'all probably don't know what this is, but I got it for a steel. Yes, it's actually a JLT all separator. So now, this is for the driver's side. Now I won't, I don't think I'll have any problems with oil coming out of my exhaust whenever I start it up, but I mean, I don't know. If you think that should help solve my problem, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. Let me see how I install this contraption. All right, so moments later, I have it all installed and it looks pretty decent. I had to move over this power steering line just a little bit and it's kind of like touching it right here, but at least it's not touching the pulley and I'm glad about that. Speaking of pulley, I need to go check on my bearing to see if my bearing came in at O'Reilly's because I believe when I bought this pulley, it came with a faulty bearing or something like that. And that's what's making all the rattling and squeaking noises because look at this. I don't know if you can see it because I'm moving, but there is a little bit of play in it and that's not supposed to happen. But back to this oil separator, it looks pretty decent. I think I ran the lines right. I know I ran them to the right side, but I think I ran them right. Uh, this one was a little bit harder to get to just because of everything that's in the way, as you can see, but it's all in and this should be a decent mod for the car. And if I didn't show you, you use this bolt for the timing housing, I believe it's called. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and start the car up. So I just shut the car back off and uploaded the tune, which y'all have saw me do that like a million times before. So I didn't record that. But now my third tune revision on the 91 octane tune is now uploaded to the car so let me start it back up okay okay everything seems normal i have to normally drive it for a little bit so i'm about to drive to my buddy steven's shop and see what they're doing out there and then i'll get to data logging again so my tuner could possibly give me the 93 tune that i've been wanting for so long now, but let me go ahead and get on the road.
I pulled up to my buddy Steven's shop and look what's over here. We have another Cobra. This is my buddy Jeff that I've been telling y'all about on the channel. His is actually the same exact colors of his in the 04. And they look pretty much identical except he still has the Cobra wheels on it which I love the look of them. But I think I'm about to give him to give me a drive in it. This one has, I believe, over 700 horsepower in it. And I'm ready to see how that feels. I want to race that. Huh? You got a Hero 7 Black. He said a they GoPro? A they got a white for $200. I don't know. VMP. Which one is this? The Gen 2? Gen 2. Gen 2. Give him the kick can. You good? He got two. Mm -hmm. I just put mine on uh, just now. Like, that's what took me so long to come over here. I'll tell you one thing, yours way cleaner than mine. <laughs> oh, I, ain't, I ain't cleaned it since last year. I'm going to tell you, PJ. I hope you got your money saved up. What do you mean? For another blower. <laughs> I'm telling you, PJ. Simple little setup. Look, my car passed and stuff, but this thing. <laughs> Hit you right there. I'm, I'm ready to see. Let me see what it got. What you dying over that? 678. 678. On an 18 pound boost. So once the clutch goes in, I'm gonna turn it up. <laughs> Try to go over 20 something. Over 700. Hey, I wasn't gonna need to get it out of that. Ass all the way around. PJ. Huh? <laughs> get you one. <laughs> Time for a blow up. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That thing ain't no slouch though. I know. All right, so I'm back in my car. It's not quite as fast as the last one. I'm actually data logging again. And I'm at this light now. I'm doing my little cruise test. And then later on, I'm gonna be doing a third gear pull. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to get this tune revised 100%, trying to make as much horsepower because Mikey, that's the one who's helping me. He said that if I make over 450, to the wheels on the dyno he will pay for the session so it looks like i'm gonna be booking my dyno session real soon and i'm gonna put the messages on the screen so i have proof of it that he did say that so you agreed to it huh hey look make over 450 i'm paying <laughs> all right 